Hello everybody, Carl Schuf here from snorkel.tv and today I'm just going to demonstrate using some of Flash's built-in drawing tools to show you how easy it can be to recreate the Android logo. Throughout this demonstration you'll see a few of the different tricks I use when using these drawing tools. Uh, we're pressed for time here so we're going to get right into it. I'm starting off with a bitmap on my stage of the Android logo. Right now it looks pretty good but if you zoom in on it you will notice that um, you're going to see a little bit of JPEG compression here, um, all that smudge going on there. And then also, as we zoom in, uh, the more we zoom in, the more the pixels become evident. And so this bitmap image doesn't really scale very well. So we're going to recreate it as a vector. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I want to show you that we have a bitmap layer in my timeline and right above it we have a layer for vectors. This is where I'm going to be doing all of my drawing. I'm really not going to be using the timeline much so I want to lock that bitmap layer just to make sure I never move it or click on it and let's just minimize the timeline so I have as much vertical space as possible. And I'm going to start off by drawing this one arm here. You'll notice as we look at this logo that this arm shape is used quite a bit uh, this rounded bottom that we have here is used in the rounded bottom of his uh, body, also for his legs, and his antennae, which are right up here. So let's start off with that simple shape, all right? Let's zoom in a little bit. And for this, I'm going to be using my guides. I'm just going to take out my guides. I'm going to snap them also to pixel values, hopefully. And let's just drop that one there, drop this one here. And we're just going to box out that arm. All right. So now that I have these guides in place, it's going to be fairly easy to draw this shape. Um, it has very symmetrical, rounded top and bottom. So let me go over to my rectangle primitive tool. When I select this tool, I'm able to set corner radiuses. And let's just reset them all to zero. And I'm going to start off drawing with a fill that is a 50% black, so I can actually see through this color to see what I'm covering up. It's going to come in very handy. So using the rectangle primitive tool, let's just draw a rectangle inside of that box. Notice how it snaps really nicely. And now, check this out. I can change the corner radiuses of that square. So as I'm pulling the slider, I'm just going to pull it until it matches up. Pretty darn good. Right around there. Okay, and you'll see that all these corners are constrained. We're somewhere around 24 pixels. Um, I'm just going to round that off to about 24. Hit return, and now they're all set to be 24. And you'll notice that that looks really good. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, and I'm going to take that primitive shape that I just drew, and I'm going to option drag it over to the left, and cover up that other arm. Let's zoom in a little bit and you'll see that that looks pretty darn good. Okay, now let's draw his bottom, or his body I should say, and I'm going to use this guide here to just cap off the top, and we'll just zoom in right there, and again I'm trying to do this sort of quick, so in real life I might you know really make sure I'm right on exact pixels, zoom in like crazy, but just want to show you how we can do this fairly quickly. Now let's just take that line right there. I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to go back to my rectangle primitive tool. I'm going to reset the corner values and let's just draw a rectangle. Now I'm assuming that the uh, radii of the arms is pretty much the same as the radii down here. So let's just unconstrain all four corners. And for the bottom left corner, let's see what happens when I type in 24. Wow, that works really nice. And for the bottom right corner, I'll type in 24. And there we have his body. Now it's time to make his legs. Well, his legs look an awful lot like his arms. So holding down Option, I'm going to drag one of his arms over. We'll call it a leg now. And let's just move it down. And so we're covered up really nice. And maybe I'd bring another guide down right at the bottom here. And then I'm going to option drag another copy of this leg. So look how I can reuse all these shapes over and over again. It's pretty cool. 
zooming out, since we're using semi-transparent colors here, um, when the leg and the body overlap, we get a much darker color. I want to merge the legs into the body so that it's just one shape. There's going to be no overlap. So check out this little technique. I'm going to select the body by clicking on it. I'm going to shift click and select his bottom leg and his bottom right leg. So we have all three shapes selected, the body and his two legs. I'm then going to go to modify combine objects and select union. And basically it's going to combine these objects in a way so it's only one. And that overlap that we have is going to be totally removed. So let's hit union. And then now, check this out, his body and his legs are one shape. Command Z will put that back. All right guys, we're gonna be running out of time here. So we're gonna split this video into two parts. Uh, just click on the uh, next video to uh, see the continuation where we draw the head with the eyes and the antennae. See you in a moment. Thank you.